go. There's a spider in my room. So we are um, going to crack on with Horizon Zero Dawn. We just beat... We. I don't know if you call it beating a cauldron because that sounds kind of rude. But we're going to go with beating a cauldron. So we've just defeated a cauldron and we've got the latest... Um, well, we've got all the override facilities now from those people. And uh, we're just going to carry on playing the game. So let's... Uh, should we jump into the game instead of me just chatting on? Yeah? Yeah. And I'm over here. So, uh, hello. But yeah, we're about to take on this cauldron. Cauldron 11, I guess. Hey, you. Yeah, you with the big yellow question mark on your head. If I have to pack one more box of gear, I'm if you have to pack one more box of gear, you'll, uh, you'll die. Yeah. That's what I thought. Sneaky, sneaky. Crawly, crawly. You are no longer lonely. You are now dead. <laughs> can't aim at him because I can't see his head. One shot. One kill. I haven't got enough fatty meat. Whatever. I'm going in the pit. I don't know why I'm tagging him, but it feels like I'm doing a good job. <laughs> and then uh, there's stabbing. Oh my goodness! Okay, Leroy has appeared and uh, scared the living bejesus out of me. Like poo in a shoe. <laughs> it's all about the poo in the shoe. Why did I just step out from a bush? The, sound, the sound's gone really weird, and I know it's in a cave. I'm not even showing you the game, are you? Am I even? Shit the bed. Some would think I'd been streaming for merely a couple of hours. But no, this is my third year. Silent Strike, you're not realising that you're like walking over three corpses and your mate is about to lose his... Oh my god, that went through his nose. Cauldron, okay. We've made it to the cauldron. So this is the way into the cauldron, I imagine. Hello, cultists. Right, down he goes. Now I'm going to pick up your weapon and kill this dude. Pap, pap. Now, why is this cauldron just here? I don't like the fact that this is just here. And there's no, like, big scary monster to come and slap me on the bum. Do you identify as a cauldron? Let's find out in this episode of Cauldron or Cake. Why doesn't that explode? That exploded. I'm definitely not invincible with one of those things in my hands. I've got some scrappers that want to scrap, obviously. Get out of the circle of doom. Critical strike. Done. Alright. Any more for any more. Okay, let's try the old rock technique. At this guy. Oh, Kreuzer was running right there. I went to throw a rock. There was a cat. Of course. Oh, shit. I'm stood on top of a bomb. Probably not the best idea. Cool, that scared me then. I thought that was me done. Detonating blast trap is now mine. And obviously, you've got to pick up your rocks. Okay, so we have made it out of the cauldron now. Oh, right. Things are just kicking off out here now. Alright, I'm overriding him. No, he's dead. So now we need to carry on with our quest up here. I'm going to investigate the supply crate. By investigate, I mean rob them blind. <laughs> you forget, I like close combat in this game. No, not anymore. Got me. Of course I got what is she doing? She's teabagging him. A pig. <laughs> You're my piggy wiggy. There we go. Oh. How am I supposed to get to that? How on earth am I supposed to get to that body up there? For God's sake. Well he ain't gonna help me, is he? Meanwhile. Another piggy wiggy! We need the bacon. I reckon I'm in that Meridian place, or whatever it's called. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Anything Ooh. strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? 
Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. Oh, my God. What is that? Ooh, piece of candy. God! Fuck. Eat rock. Whoa. He's almost dead, guys. He's almost dead. I just gotta make sure I don't fall off this hill, this rock. We did it. I'm eating at full health right now. Yay! So this is the big city that everyone's like, oh my god, you gotta go here, it's so lovely. I holiday there frequently. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. But what's he filling her shoes with? Poo! <laughs> Where's he going? He just started running randomly. <laughs> so this is where Oda lives. Oh, look, a hatch. All right, so we got to drop something from above through the floor, I guess. Oh, yes, of course, some stacked ingots. Let's give it a little push. To prune in the sun. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe, but it isn't going to be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuke farewell mark in my honor. Ooh. Banuke farewell mark. What's a headbutt, I guess. It's on the floor. Probably oh. someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. So, um, Killer Queen and I, we did a cruise the year before the um the lockdown happened. And I tell you what, we thought it was all for old people, you know what I mean? And um, actually, it was quite nice. It was so relaxing to just like fall asleep at sea and wake up in port somewhere else. Like a different, complete different country, you know? Although I will admit, one day I forgot we were on a, uh, a floating hotel, let's call it that. And um, so, um, so Killer Queen and I, we, we just pulled up into... It must have been Pompeii or Rome or something like that. And um, I pulled back the curtains, like, as you do, sleep in the nude because it's boiling hot and you're on holiday, come on. So I pulled back the curtains and opposite me was an entire family having their breakfast on their balcony. And I was like, close the curtains. Do, 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 do. Metal burn and Olin. I'll tell you everything. Obviously now. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Helis. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive.